things that keep me up at night. Uh, K-12, being sure that students have an opportunity to learn what they need to learn to succeed in life. It could be to, uh, a matter of going off to college, a uh, certificate of, of capability. In other words, something post-secondary. How are we preparing them? How are we supporting communities that can help with that preparation? So that I'd say the thing that keeps me up is how, how do we assure that our national commitment, and certainly within the states, because every state takes the primary responsibility for public education. Uh, as governor, that, that was probably the thing I spent the most time on, was how do we assure every child has an opportunity and is stimulated to engage, and that parents are involved, because parent, parenting is uh, one of the key elements to a student's success. And then once they, we push them into, well, you've got to have a college degree, or you've got to have a certificate of some kind beyond high school, or you don't get a good job, and then they discover they're not quite prepared. How do we overcome that, rather than pointing fingers? One of the most effective tools I've used, thanks to uh, a lady in Washington, when she was asked to mediate because there were problems in the school, she said, okay, whatever the problem is, it's my fault. Now what do we do? I've used that technique several times. Instead of saying, well, it's the teacher's fault or the administrator's fault or the parent's fault, or, why don't you just say it's my fault? Okay, that's behind us. Now what do we do?